Well, a young couple, ready to rush to the chapel, had to make kind of a detour and rush the ceremony to the hospital instead. All because the mother of the bride is expecting her 11th child. But as our Iris Perez shows us, child number 11 wasn't going to keep her from child number one's wedding. Of Amy Hamilton's 10 children, Natalie is the first to get married. So after Amy's water broke at 26 weeks of carrying baby number 11, Natalie and the groom couldn't stand the thought of Amy missing their big day. So they moved the ceremony to the Mother Baby Center. All my thoughts were with Natalie. This can't be happening. I have to be there for her. Saturday is the day. 42-year-old Amy Hamilton, mother of 10, has been preparing to see the first of her children get married for about as long as she's had baby number 11 in her belly. And I was in the basement ironing one of my son's shirts for the wedding when my water broke. This at only 26 weeks pregnant. I spent a lot of that day crying. Amy was taken to the ER and ultimately transferred to Abbott Northwestern in Minneapolis. The baby inside me is my little girl too and I have to take care of her too. My dad and my sister just had the idea and so we thought let's do it because I wasn't going to do it without her. So to make sure she didn't miss Natalie's big day with her groom Michael. He saw me and he said he heard God tell him that's going to be your wife. And so you heard it too, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the couple, with the hospital staff's blessing, moved the ceremony, hands and hearts around mom and the baby girl in the oven, to the mother baby center. Mom had an amazing nurse who helped out a ton. She's just been a real blessing, and I had her last night too. And she went out and bought rollers for my hair, and did up my hair for me. And I mean, what kind of nurse? <laughs> would do that for a patient. For hospital chaplain Reverend Phil Rose, it's the very first marriage he's blessed here. I really appreciate the way that they are gathering around this couple and around mom, uh, Amy, um, to support one another. Uh, and that's just very inspiring. And pretty much the entire family on both sides gathered on this landing to bear witness, including Rob and Amy's nine other children. They're all such amazing Little blessings. The eldest being 21 year old Emily, the youngest, three year old Gideon. This is number 11, and when God says we're done, then we're done. Give me a kiss. Yay. Yay. I just feel so loved, so loved right now that this worked out for me. Amy is expected to remain in the hospital for the next six weeks. Her goal is to maintain pregnancy until she's about 32 weeks along. Once she meets that goal, she says doctors will be able to perform a C 